Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Today we've got a double IPA from the guys over at Braukraft here in Germany. Uh, these guys are based in do, 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 uh, Gilking, I believe that says. Not too sure whereabouts in Germany they are based, but I've heard a hell of a lot about this brewery. Um, I've seen their beers around all the time, but never got around to picking any up. But I was in Beretta fairly recently, and I saw that they were selling this for a good price. So I thought, you know what, I've got to give it a go. So it's a double IPA, clocking in at 7.7% ABV. Rarely love that artwork. There's just something fantastic about it, from the colour scheme to the illustration in the middle. And I do like the general Browcraft uh, logo that they've got. And, of course, there it is on the crown as well. So it's uh, a really nicely presented beer. And, uh, yeah, a double IPA. Um, I am a fan of the uh, dipper. But not when it decides that it wants to uh, spew everywhere. Good God, that's lively. Look at that. You want a flack in that, love? I'll tell you what I'm going to do got to get another glass because that's ridiculous uh, using my beer vana glass um, it's been in the fridge for a, a couple of days so it should have settled and it's not like Jesus Christ look how active this beer is uh, Greg's beer reviews would not be pr uh, happy at all with this that's absolutely insane how crazy the conditioning is on this beer. Look at that, and that head just seems to be so stubborn as well. Um, so, yeah, off to a, a great start. But um, yeah, you can't really see too much about this beer, but it's sort of like a, a murky, brownie colour. has like a, a very... Uh, rye like appearance to it but yeah, it seems to be very very cloudy very hazy has that slight um, like caramel look to it as well so definitely quite the malt build and uh, head on that is atrocious but on here we've got about less than two fingers worth of a, a slightly tan coloured head and uh yeah, that's um, it's not annoyed me, but it's it's a bit meh. Anyway, let's see what we can get on the aroma. It's like got this really powdery hop sort of presence. It's very cloudy, if that makes any sense. Has that like sort of dish soap aroma to it? You definitely get a malt-like sweetness coming through, but that's offset nicely by a very subtle and rounded hop character. See, that's got a bit more citrus in it, even though the head's considerably bigger. Yeah, a little bit of uh, citrus. Has a like a, a peach yogurt sort of aroma as well. And like maybe a, a slight licorice, like a, a berry licorice lace or something like that. That's intriguing. Let's see if I can get anything from this one. Prost. got a real sense of like creaminess to it as if you're drinking like a, a double cream a little bit milky as well very gentle malt character actually very gentle hop character the flavors just seem to be quite muted to be honest bitterness picks up considerably on the back end 
but it doesn't really have a flavour associated with it. It's just a bitter sensation as it's going down. I don't know. I'm not getting much from this beer at all, to be honest. ABV is masked really nicely. Upper end of medium body to it. Head's died down considerably now. Let's see if I can get anything else. Maybe a very subtle tropical tone. A little bit of a resiny character as well, which builds up on the back end. Little hints of grapefruit in there. It's a nice subtle beer, but it's not tremendously exciting. And you expect like a double IPA to have some sort of presence and personality. This is just, I don't know, it's... It's not a bad beer, but I was expecting a little bit more from it, to be honest. Definitely has that sort of West Coast feel to it, in terms of the bitterness and the slight resiny characters. But it's also quite dessert-like as well. Hmm. It, it's not like an infected beer or anything like that. It's just the flavours are just really rounded and muted. And it is very easy drinking. I don't know. Um, I'm, I always hate to like bag on a beer. I don't like doing that. I always like to try and find the positives in anything. <laughs> Even though I'm one of the most pessimistic people you'll ever meet in your life. But there's really not much going for this beer, to be honest. Um, it's just so laid back that you could just drink and drink and drink it and not really think too much about it until it creeps up on you. But uh, yeah, it looks considerably better. Look at that. It's like reddish hues in there, cranberry juice almost. One more taste, see if I can pull anything else from it. See, that's so much better now that it's in the glass. There's actually a bit more fruit juice flavour. There's a bit more flavour in general. Very grapefruit forward now as well. Which I like grapefruit. But it seems to be like quite... You know, like sometimes cider dries out your teeth or whatever. I'm getting that with this. I don't know. It tastes a lot better now that it did initially, now that it's settled down. A little bit of a bready tone coming through. A uh, bread crust. But still, not the most exciting example of a double IPA that I've ever had. And with the fact that it just seems to be... doesn't have the best conditioning, that works against it as well. So in terms of a rating then on the Browcraft Max O double IPA, it's a 6 out of 10 from me. Um, would I buy it again? Just out of curiosity, just in case I've got a, a duff bottle or something like that. But for the price that I paid for it, I can pick at least two um, really nice um, uh, German brewed, craft brewed double IPAs. Will I give the brewery another go in the future? Hell yeah. You know, I'm not going to not support a brewery just because one of the beer, the first beer that I try from them I'm not a fan of. But like I said, it's an easy drinking beer. And um, if you're getting into the slightly heavier IPAs, you could do worse than this. It's a good transitional beer if you're a little bit put off by that ABV. Because you think that the flavours are going to dominate. But... Um, yeah, it's, it's a good beginner's double IPA, I suppose. Uh, it sort of reminds me of the likes of the East IPA from Brooklyn. It seems a little bit left behind, um, especially in this uh, beer climate with IPAs and double IPAs that we have now. So it doesn't really stand up um, to some of the rest and it sort of falls back, which is a real shame. But it, it's, an, it's an honest, subtle beer. And 
if it wasn't for the conditioning of it, it would have got maybe a 7 out of 10. But 6 out of 10, leaving it at that. Browcraft, Maxo, Double IPA. If you've tried it or any of the other beers from these guys, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Check out the brewery, check out Beretta if anybody I know has reviewed this. Their reviews will be included down below. Check out my Double IPA playlist for more beer reviews. And speaking of which, join me next time for another one. So, thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Prost!